This playthrough is rated T for teen. Greetings and salutations, viewers. While we're back here with another new game, and it's time to play another working designs game. We played Earth the Lad before, but now it's time to play something, well, uh, another game they translated. Ah, uh, working designs. I miss you so much. I know Atlas has kind of taken up the reams since then, but I kind of miss your own charm of the voice actors you got and, and the games you brought over here, but oh well. Things can't last forever. But Vanguard Bits, a strategy RPG that uh, one of the um, I was going to have a song there, but I didn't want to have it playing for the most part. Uh, let's see, how do we want to do this? Yeah, vibration off. Uh, this is a strategy RPG. They've never made any sequels to this game since. Uh, it's pretty decent as a strategy game goes. Uh, I mean, we'll play it. I, I Obviously, I'll play it as far as le the initial story, but... Uh, well, I guess we can talk about it when we get to the part, but basically it's a strategy RPG. And as you saw at the beginning there, it's basically a strategy RPG with mechs. So that's awesome. Um, I know this is translated by working designs. I'm not sure the company, I think it could be like, it says human down there, but I don't know what that actually means. Uh, I'll try to do some more research after that in the future, but this is also on the PS1. I actually had the physical discs of this game. So it's not like one of the downloads. It's kind of like the same with Ark the Lad, but anyway, let's start the game. Come on, Father! Admit all this training is a complete waste of time! We both know that I'm more than strong enough to fight the Empire. So why won't you allow me to prove my strength in battle? I'm weary of skulking from place to place in the dead of night, as though we were petty thieves. We must stand up and fight, Father! We have to... Ow! Whatever was that for? To demonstrate that much training, yet lies before you. But you struck me when I wasn't ready, Father! That's hardly fair! On the bat field of battle, fair knows not who you are deserving, Bastion. It is a lesson you must learn. I still say that you cheated. Yeah, it looks like we got ourselves a young protagonist, like always. A mentor, father. And a kid with glasses, of course. Probably he's the intelligent one. Hey, you two! Didn't you see the smoke in the air? Oh, we got the token female character. Bastion! Camorgi! Camorge? Kemorji? Kemorji? Oh. Oh, that's bad. If I can't even spell this guy's name. Kemorg? Kemorje? Kemurg? Kemorg? I'm going to call him Kemorg, even though that's how, not how it's pronounced. The village is under siege by soldiers of the Empire. I counted at least four Imperials before Puck and I came to find you. Puck? What, is someone a fan of Mids the Midsummer's Night Dream or something? One building was already been set ablaze in the chaos. You must stop those thugs from doing any more harm. Don't fret, Mia. Of course we'll stop them. Are you ready, Puck? Ready and waiting, Bastion. Excellent. Let's go. Man, apparently violence is, uh... Imperials? Obviously, we don't exactly know what's going on, but... 
Damn, the Empire. Damn them for finding us again. And apparently we're fighting a group called the Empire and we're runaways. Yet somehow we're runaways that don't have like a... a I assume we don't have like a nation or a group to fund us, yet we have mechs. Uh, okay. <laughs> ah, anime. Not give it any good reason since Astro Boy, basically. Uh, anyway. Father, I simply can't wait to slay those wretched dogs. Do not allow your anger to cloud your judgment. Forget your emotions. Remember your training. Fight with honor. I know, Father. I know. But now is not the time. And now is the time for me to use that training for such an honorable purpose. Stay close as we engage the enemy, Bastion. Keep me within your line of sight at all times. This is your first big test. Do not disappoint me. Of course, Father. I shall make you proud. Proud enough that perhaps you could reserve that stick for someone else. Ooh. Well, we got our first fight. That didn't take very long. Usually a game kind of sets up a lot of exposition. The only exposition we have is obviously what we saw at the very beginning. Uh, but I guess it's enough to know. We're fighting Imperials, and apparently they're the bad guys. Because we're the heroes. Stop terrorizing those innocent villagers, you filthy swine! Uh, Why is it the Judas Empire stop for no one? Sir, these appear to be the rogues we were sent to find. Are you certain? I was expecting mercenaries, not peasants. You may injure them, but do not kill them, or Fothno will have all of our heads. How are we hearing what they're saying inside their outfits? Are they not, uh... I mean, do they have, like, speakers, or... Is that just for our knowledge? But anyway, looks like we got four Imperials. Uh, about similar... Well, okay. Each one has a better experience than others. In this battle, for now, we're, since we're doing a tutorial, we control ourselves. We don't we don't control our father. Kamors or Kamorgi, Kamarge, whatever. Anyway, like most strategy RPGs, we got a map. Each has uh, details for height, uh, difficult terrain, um, and such. Um, some difficult terrain cannot be moved through. Some you can stand on will increase your defense, uh, and so forth and so on. Sometimes you can't get to certain places without special movement apparatus, which we'll get to when it comes down to it. We've got our little targeter here. If we click on the main screen here, we can check our units. Uh, I won't do this for all battles, just, just to kind of for the tutorial episode here. We're playing as Bastion. Level 3, we're, pl we're playing... Now, the name down there is, under the level 3, is Alba. That's the type of mech suit we're playing, uh, or, and it's called the Alba. We got, looks like we got an uh, emotional scale. Anger, happiness, maybe sadness, and neutrality, maybe? I'm not sure what that one is. Um, anyway, AP 100, FP 0, uh, zero out of 100, and HP 84. We'll get to those when it actually purposes. Uh, it looks like... Level-wise, we're about the same, except for Kavor. Whoa! Man, glad he's on our team. He's way over-leveled. And he's pretty fast, too. Actually, we're both pretty fast than the other dudes. So, anyway, we can locate each one, look at their stats. Like I said, nothing too much we have to worry about since they're backup, uh, since they're regular dudes. Uh, so, anyway, get a chance to look at the map. Won't really do that too often. Turns. This will give us an idea of, like, where our turns are going to be. So, for strategy sakes, since there's... I don't think there's a difficulty in this game... So, basically, you don't have to worry about changes in hard mode and easy or anything like that, so it just plays as is. Obviously, their AI will dictate, will be dictated by when you move and where you move and stuff like that. Alright, the objective is to deny with the enemy system. At any time, we can make some modifications to it, change our... Uh, I will turn this off eventually, the battle animation. What this is, is that uh, it's... Um, it's basically like any game, like a good example of looking at battle animations is like uh, the Super Robot T Tyson series, which I thought about playing that, but that's a long series. Uh, but anyway, battle animation, basically every time you attack, it'll go to a battle animation. What I'm going to do is I'm probably going to just show it once on each enemy and hero and then turn it off because this takes makes the battle take a lot longer if you show battle animation. It'll show like a quick scene of you attacking or being attacked and each character will have a comment about either being hit or whatever and... I mean, yeah, I'd like to show off all the dialogue that you get from getting hit and what forth, but uh, yeah, that'd make the game take a lot longer. And then we can obviously save. Actually, let's go and do that. I've already created, uh, let's go and create the Vanguard data. I've, I've played this game before like a long time ago, but I decided to start a new new file and everything. Oh, I'm playing this on the PS3. I'm not playing this on the PS1. I'm doing an emulator. So I'm playing on the PS1 through my PS3. So I'll make it easier without having to pull up my old PS1. Less strain on that, but... Alright, 
have we gotten everything before we go? Okay. Let me go also press start to do that. Oh, if we don't want to turn the battle animations off, if you don't want to go in the menu, you can just press the select button on there. We'll leave it on for now. So we don't want to go too far ahead from our father, so let's see. If we highlight the dudes, we can get an idea of where they're going to go. Or, sorry, wh what they're, uh, where they can move to. So we don't want to... I mean, I don't mind my character getting hit, but we're, we're here to basically... Basically, what our job is, is to get experience by getting the kill, instead of, uh... Um, instead of Kimura, Kimura's, because of high, such a high level. We don't want him stealing all our kills. Quick game get my kills, Dad. Anyway, after we move, I like most strategy games, not all of them, but most strategy games, we have a directional button, our placement. So this will dictate, like, which direction we face, and that'll dictate damage, our defenses, so forth, so... Anyway, we're, since we're at the beginning, we can keep moving if we have enough AP. AP is basically our action points. Uh, for now, I don't think I want to move any further. Uh, oh, we get a, a better idea of our uh, information from here. We want to check. Uh, attack is our options for attacking, support, and dormant. We don't have anything to do with that yet. Well, we see our stats right there. Base, power, dex, agility, defense, and weapon. Those will be important when we start leveling up. Uh, next experience 500, spirit 24, range 5, speed 4. Uh, we're in the Alba, we've got the Gradius blade, a barrel item, and nothing for our equipment. Those will become more important later. But anyway, let's end the combat and let the uh, AI go. Uh, I'm going to see if I can make the speed go up a little bit. Well, not for now, but in the future, I'm going to try and... Uh, okay. Oh, looks like Kamorji Kimor can, uh, can kind of take out dudes by himself. Set your fear raw. No! See, and the dialogue goes by way too fast, it too, so. Alright, I'm going to turn off the battle animations unless, unless uh, Bastion gets a fight. Alright, looks like Kamorj is not going to attack, which is good. We can get a chance to get some experience. Actually, is there an option for making the guys go faster? That's with speed. I think I can click on the... Uh, when they're moving around, I think I can click on them to make them go faster if I remember correctly. But anyway, we want to... I think we want to go there because we don't want to... Let's see if we can get that. Let's see if we can kill them from here. So, okay. Each attack has its own, like, ghoul detail. So, a slash is going to be 0.8. Uh, our strength is going to be not at full attack with this. It's got 20% to hit. So, it's better to hit, but it's never going to do full damage. So, keep that in mind. Uh, FP, uh, we also, we lose 30 AP, so attacking and moving is part of our action points. So you can move multiple spots and attack multiple times if you have enough F, uh, AP, but uh, kind of be careful with that. Anyway, and then thrust is you get full your full strength, but no bonuses to hit. So it depends on, so for example, if I look on this, I've got a pretty good chance to hit, but I'm not going to do a lot of damage because the guy's defending. Unfortunately, hitting him on the side does not get as much attack. However, if we attack, we do a bit more damage, but... And well, I guess I have to go with that, so. Wait, did I miss? I missed, at 99%, I missed. Did I catch that right? Okay, whatever. Wow, this ain't good. This ain't going good already if I'm already. It's just like the old saying, Reyna, where there's smoke. Uh, I'm trying to. There's the Imperial Army. I'm trying to think of their voices. I forgot I'm gonna have to do a lot of voices for this game. Look over there, Father. Two more Imperial Atacs. I would not be so quick as to assume they're affiliated with the Empire. Huh. Fear not, brave villagers. We shall save your humble home for these heartless bastards. Who are you? Do you fight for the Empire? Oh, right. In this game, we have choices. Now, the first uh, first playthrough of this game, uh, this will make some slight decisions uh, uh, affect certain battles and, uh, well... I'll get to that when it comes to but, but in this case, I don't think it really matters other than dialogue description. So, who are you? Who in the world are you? What are you doing here? My name is Rain, and I'm here to fight alongside you. I'll answer any questions you have after I've slain those Imperial lackeys, all right? Whoa, she's a bit sassy. You mean when my father and I have slain them? Oh, looks like it's a competition to see if you can kill who, but anyway, we got two new companions to help us out. Thanks, ladies. Appreciate it. All right, and Kamorgi is going to help. Oh, I forgot to. Whoops. <laughs> I thought. Okay, well, if you want to read. Oh, you'll hurt. You'll bleed. Okay. Sometimes the fight goes like way too fast, dialogue wise. But... 
You fight well for an old man, but I harbor no respect for my elders. Okay, anyway. Looks like he's going to attack. I'm going to turn off the animations now so we can actually go through... Ta Ooh. Ow. Oh, right, he got hurt. Uh, you can quickly... Uh, nuts. You can quickly go through the... Uh, if you press... Uh, see if we... Oh, well, I have to avoid, so... Now eh, let's turn on the battle animations for that. 40% chance to hit. Let's see if it hits. Haha. -ha! All right, like I said, I'm not gonna show all these. Uh, all right, that's, all right. Well, if we attack him from behind, we're at least gonna have a better. This is actually not going well for the first playthrough. I usually get this guy pretty low by then, but let's see if I can get the. Uh, let's see, yeah, it's 30 either way. Can we kill him? Nuts. All right, man. Usually I'm like, I'll, I would kill this guy by this turn, but all right. Now yeah, let's show the him get hurt without dodging. I can't believe I missed the first hit. It was freaking 99%. Ugh, XCOM, XCOM numbers, that's what I call it. Okay, anyway, what's in there? Yeah, Kamorji, or Kamorji is gonna take some damage, but, uh, yeah, so you can see right. Oh, 37% still hit, man. I'm just gonna have to suffer from number from numbers not going in my favor. Kamorji dodged and he got hit. Uh-oh, but he's, uh, um, oh, uh, we can't control the ladies in this fight, by the way. Uh, so they will also steal experience. Yeah, fortunately, there's not much we can do. Uh, oh, yeah, she's probably gonna finish him off. Oh well. That's great. Uh, <laughs> I'll just take the hit. Oh, but anyway, that star above Kamorji is what happens if you, uh, uh, if you run out of, uh, AP, you can go dizzy, uh, and that can happen from defending and avoiding and stuff like that. So, avoiding takes more, but you take less damage, stuff like that. But anyway, yeah, it's not good so, go, doing so far for our group because of the whole I have only gotten one kill. Well, I hope I hit this one this time. Thank you, game. Yeesh. Anyway, get some experience and some money. We'll need that for a little stuff down the line. So, anyway, uh, no, I don't think I can move. Let's end. Uh, he's probably going to end up killing a lot of them, aren't they? Oh, good. I, I As far as I know, Kamorj isn't supposed to kill, uh, like, look for the kill, because the uh, his desi his AI is designed to try and help us gain experience. Unfortunately, the other AI is not so much nice. Yeah, they're just... Oh, I'll show their AI when, uh... uh looks like I own and Kamorj use the same AI, or robot. Oh, I guess I could actually show their, uh... Who are who the ladies are? Got Ione, who's uh, in the same outfit as Kamora's. The bear is Barazov, Barazov, or whatever. Uh, so same outfit, but she's a bit higher level. So wow, both the ladies are higher levels than us. Here we got Raiden, the Harol. All right. Well, can we check anything else about them? Let's just see. Uh, Harol spear. She has the turquoise. Let's see. I'm not gonna say everything they do. She looks like she's kind of slow. Not well, not super slow, but and thrust along thrust. Not much. Not really much in the at this point in the game, in terms of like what abilities they're gonna have. But okay, yeah, we can see what she's got. Onyx. And oh, and the whole uh, and he's also got an Onyx. Well, we'll figure out what the other those items do later. But anyway, let's uh, have uh, Bastion keep working on them. Hopefully. I can get another kill in before the end of the fight. Usually I can get a couple kills in before... Um, before that, but hopefully Bastion or Kamorje will not kill this dude. I'd only weaken him enough. We'll have to wait and see. Now the ladies have nothing else to do, so they'll just bait there. Yeah, this fight is not going as well as I... Oh, I forgot she has a... a a spear. So spears have the ability for range, which means they can uh, um, uh, they can hit from multiple squares away. So yeah, I'm not gonna get the experience for this. Man, that sucks. No, don't kill him. Nuts. Oh well. Great. This is gonna be bad if I'm not getting the level. I should have gained a level already for this for this fight. Um, so. In the future, hopefully you don't suffer from uh, XCOM numbers, and hopefully you at least get two. You want to get at least two kills with Bastion to hopefully try and get him a level. Because in this game, there's no there's no place to level grind, unlike a lot of other strategy RPGs. So you kind of have to be careful about your 
how you level up dudes. This is one of those games you have to decide who you want to level up, and you want to get be consistent. So you want to kind of keep your everyone about the same level and divvy out properly. So you don't want to give like one character all of them. Anyway, the battle's over. Victor's ours, father. All right. Well, we were able to handle four. I guess really not by ourselves. We had the two ladies to help us. I wonder where they're from or who they are. Oh, I guess we'll find out. Happy music. Those savages had no need to destroy this house. Hello, my name is... I don't even know what voice to give her. Hello, my name is Ayune. I am a member of the Avalon Defense Corps. And I am Reina. It's a pleasure to meet such skilled fighters. The Avalon Defense Corps? Aren't you allies of the Voracian Kingdom? Yes, our combined forces have been battling the Empire for ages. It is a pleasure to meet such beautiful soldiers as you two. Pardon me. Rena and I had been tracking. Uh, <coughs> Rena and I had been tracking these appeals for several days, and we saw your pillar of black smoke on the horizon. We knew that they were the cause of it. We are most grateful for both of you for your timely assistance. You're quite welcome, sir. I relish any opportunity to kick the Junars Empire where it hurts. I still can't believe they'd attack a village of innocents. I have a question. Do either of you know a man by the name of Galvis Darid? Galvis, the, cor the corpse commander of the Phrasian Kingdom? Yes. Of course we know him. We're here on his orders. He's considered a living legend by most of the members of the Corps. I have nothing but respect for him. I am curious, what leads you to inquire about Galvis? I must speak with him at the earliest possible opportunity of debt. Uh, a possible opportunity of a debt which must be repaid. Galvis is quite wealthy, sir. How has he come to owe you anything? His debt is not monetary, Ione, and that is all you need to know. I would strongly disagree with you on that point. Dot dot dot. My apologies, sir. I did not seek to offend you. An old man like me is rarely dis offended, Ione, but your apology accepted nonetheless. Thank you, sir. How much time will you and your friends need to prepare for a to depart? I don't... Ione, we can't take this man to see Galvis. We don't even know him. We don't know him, Reyna, but we can certainly trust him. We only need to look into his eyes to realize that. Thank you for your trust, Ione. Now I owe a debt to you as well. Father, have you forgotten about the fate of this village? What will happen when the Empire sends more soldiers here? This village will be quite safe after we depart, Bastion. And how can you be so confident of that, Father? Because you and I are the cause of this ruin, Bastion. What? What do you mean, Father? I don't understand. The soldiers said that they were looking for rogues. And they found Bastion. Found us, Bastion. They found me. What are you saying? Why is the Empire searching? Do you or do you not want to fight the Empire, Bastion? Of course, Father. I... But... Then cease your ramblings and begin preparation for our journey. Father, wait! Why won't you at least explain what's going on? Father! Nuts. Yeah, he, of course he's not going to explain, because that would make the... That would ruin the rest of the plot. Your Highness, the Imperial Princess. I am, as always, honored simply to be in your holy presence, Sadira. What business brings you to my chambers on this wondrous day? Dispense with the pretentiousness, Falker. I demand answers. Certainly, Highness, but first you must supply a question. Silence, Falker! The band of rogues you call soldiers are flagrantly violating the laws of the Empire. I had told you have even deserted our armies and begun to rob the citizens they were sworn to protect. I will inform my sergeants of this terrible news at once, Sadira. Your sergeants, from what I've been told, they not only allow this behavior, but often condone it. I don't know what other words to give her, really, folks. That's why I must travel to our border zones as soon as possible. I plan to observe the despicable actions of these troops myself, and to severely punish those amongst them who would harm my people. I only hope that you are able to guard the Imperial Palace while I'm gone. Wow, what a brat. I mean... I should burn this place to the ground, you spoiled little wench. But it would be more prudent to follow you to the border zones, just in case. Whoa. Who's that? Who's that demented fellow? <laughs> he talks about, because he doesn't like the girl, he just decides he wants to burn the place. He doesn't do it. But... 
The last words we received were that Galvis was stationed in our... The last words we received were that Galvis was stationed in our castle. It's located near the border between the kingdom and the empire. You'll be in danger. We can defend ourselves. Are you really certain about all this irony? Because I'm not. Need I remind you once again that we know nothing about this man? I understand your concern right now, but do we know that we can trust him? And we also know that he can hold his own on a battlefield. Boy, I suppose we know that his son is quite attractive. Whoa, lady. You meet the guy once, you're already called attractive. I mean, okay, yeah, I've seen girls that say they're, they're kind of cute, but still. You don't really say it out loud. What was that? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Whoa. I should... I would also admit that I am very curious about Skamorga. As I... As am I. What is this great debt Galvis owes him? And for how long have they known each other? Oh, uh, well, that is gossip best kept for another time. The faster we make our way through the Empire, the sooner we will have the answers we want. Yes, well, it's... It's so much fun to gossip, Ione. Man. Ah, looks like we got the map of the world there, by the way. You can see Mosbull, Avalon, there's something to the south I can't see now, and a forest, and... Uh, not a pretty decent sized map. Oh, perfect. Damn it! That last bit was played havoc with the controls of my ATAC. I, I, I apologize, Kamorge, but I cannot continue which, until I can determine which systems are inoperative. I don't know why I'm having such trouble talking in that voice. Perhaps we can assist you in that regard, Ione. Of course we can! Puck, have a look and see what you can do! You got it, Bastion! Are you kidding me? That vertically challenged Tyke is a mechanic? The laws against child labor are quite strict, remember? Puck is not a mere boy, Reyna. He's almost a man. Besides, he's the most amazing tech you'll meet. My ATAC would have fallen to pieces long ago without him. Says you. Jeez, Bastion, why don't you lay it on a little thicker? Ah, oh, Puck, I'm not embellishing your raw talent one bit. You know it. Well then, Puck, I would be honored if you chose to assist me. No problem, let's go! Hmm. Well, apparently we're finding out a little bit about everyone, so... How nice. You are a man of very few words, aren't you, Komorge? Indeed. Wow. <laughs> well, the old mentor types are always silent, but, uh, but deadly. So tell me, Bastion, it seems that you move around quite a bit. Doesn't that get hard? Yes, it is difficult. I doubt there's a place on the continent where we haven't lived at some point. Well, then how did Mil Mil Milia come to be in your company? Both my parents were slain by the soldiers of the Empire when I was very young. Kamorge had been a good friend of my family and took me in as one of his own. Oh, Milia, I'm so sorry. I really didn't mean to cause you any pain. Don't be silly, Raina, and please don't apologize. After all, how could you have known? I'm gonna have to turn down the background music. I, I can almost kind of barely hear myself talk. Besides, I couldn't have had a better life than the one Kamorge has given me. Did I just give her the southern accent by accident? I think I did. Jeez, that was too easy! All I had to do was patch up the bipolar circuits and tweak the cortex modulator. Sounds like our little genius has finished his repair work. Thank you very much, Puck. I'll go and run a few diagnostic programs before we depart. Boy, he is good. The very best engineers in the Avalon Corps don't even work that fast. As I, sm as sa I said as much earlier, remember? Yes, yes. And oh, I forgot to ask how Puck ended up with you as well. Puck was an apprentice with one of Father's friends who is an engineer. He's traveling with us to test what he's learned thus far in real life situations. By making him go around in this little band of people being chased by the Empire. Yeah, best decision ever, Dad. And I assure you that there aren't many situations we haven't been in lately. <laughs> it's okay, Bastion. I really don't mind fixing your ATAC all the time. I'm starting to get the picture. It's a perfect region. Father and I battle against the Empire. Puck repairs our ATAX and allows me to pull wedgies on him when the mood strikes. Oh, working designs and you're translating. And Milia cooks and cleans up after us. Like I said, it's perfect. No, no. It would be perfect if you managed to belch out a thank you now and then to show some appreciation. I appreciate what you do, Milia. You know that. Well, it would hurt to tell me every now and then. Again. 
Sounds reasonable to me. Huh. Well, they're back early. Attention, everyone! Camorgan and I have sent a battle form in the distance. There isn't any time to waste. We must mobilize at once. Excellent! We could strike against the Empire their own wretched turf. We must keep our... We must keep our wits about us, and as we descend into the conflict... Yes, caution is the best course of action. It may already be too late for the Empire's poor prey. If we are careless, we shall become the victims as well. Heads up! Let's go! Oh boy, at some point I'm gonna forget who bought lines of voicing when I take breaks in between this. But anyway, we finished the first mission. Chapter 1, Destiny's... Or, we finished the prologue. Now we're at after 1, so... Now, let's see, do I have a few minutes? Well, not really. So, you know what? What we'll do is we'll discuss it uh, next time. So, looks like we've learned a bit about our new companions. Sebastian, uh, Camorgate, Puck, Milia, and also the, a new couple of new members. Man, we got a, new, a lot of new members in the first episode. Reyna, Ione, and... Uh, and it looks like we've learned a little bit about this world. Apparently this world is taken over by a dark empire or some type of evil empire, maybe. But there looks like there's multiple countries and mechs. Whew, looks like there's a lot of stuff we gotta learn and even more to learn on. So, can Bastion and the friends fight these uh, fight these Imperial mechs and save who's ever in danger? Or will the Empire just wave over the country land, creeding whatever they wish to creed? Find out next time in the next episode, episode of Vanguard Bandits. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.